Hello from Leiden. I'm Joe Bozeman, assistant professor at Georgia Tech. I am here with the Sustainable Urban Systems section. We look at developing innovative tools and data sets to address our biggest urban challenges, which includes rural participants. Uh, some of the ways that we really like to engage with the other sections of the ISIE, one way is we engage with the circularity section, in part because the SUS section has established three research priorities for the future, one being social equity and justice, the second being circularity, and the last being digital twins. So we're really excited about the work we're doing in our future collaborations, and we're hopeful that you'll join us at some point in the future. Thank you for your time. Hi, uh, I'm Graham May, and I'm on the board of the Industrial Symbiosis and the Eco-Industrial Development section of the ISIE. Uh, our goal is to work together with practitioners and academics to translate the science of industrial ecology into uh, in eco-industrial parks and new industrial symbiosis initi initiatives. A lot of people, of course, who are in our section are also in other sections. You can think very important, for example, for industrial symbiosis and eco-industrial parks could be uh, island uh, industrial symbiosis. Uh, so the island section, we have actually board members that we share across. Uh, we work a lot with the student section as well. Hello, uh, I'm Peter Verrill. I'm a postdoc researcher at the TU Berlin. And since January of this year, I am board member of the Life Cycle Sustainable Assessment uh, section of the ISIE. And so what we mainly do is to provide a network for people working in or on a life cycle sustainability assessment related research, uh, to share resources, uh, teaching materials, research uh, items, and latest news and updates in the field. Uh, we are uh, actively uh, seeking in, uh, inputs and suggestions for a webinar uh, series that we will begin. So everyone is welcome to uh, uh, input uh, suggestions to that. And we mainly, uh, well, we have a lot of members who work across the different methods uh, in ISIE. And, and so I think this is, this is a major way that we have collaboration with uh, other sections and members of other sections. So my name is Dominic Wienhofer. I'm the co-chair of the Sustainable Circular Economy section. And my name is Magnus Brüling, and I'm also co-chair of the Sustainable Circular Economy section. We founded this section because as a society, we realized that the circular economy has a lot of transformative potential in terms of delivering absolute decoupling of resource use from the well-being. And we see that this concept is taken up widely, but that it often lacks the discussion of the scientific basis and how it can really be achieved in practice. And this is where we want to contribute with the toolkit of um, the circular economy. So I would say that our section is a cross-cutting section, drawing on all the strengths of the society, bringing together our toolboxes, our concepts and theories to really understand when is the circular economy a good idea, but actually think much more about reduce, rethink, redesign, and all the other options to make our uh, society's resource use um, more environmentally sustainable. And thus we want to contribute to helping really achieving sustainability um, solutions um, with the toolkit of the, uh, of the industrial ecology. So I'm the leader of the co-chair for the environmental extended inter uh, I.O. model, uh, this section at ISIE. So I'm basically uh, leading the section working towards uh, model development as well as uh, um, the application of EIO models uh, in the environmental challenges uh, to s better serve the society and the community uh, to address the environmental challenges. Uh, many of our members in the EIO session are actually the members of other sections. So they bring new ideas from other models to the EIO uh, section and also uh, take the uh, uh, concepts and uh, the idea, the thinking of the EIO to other sections so we can better collaborate. I'm Camilla Kriff and I'm the president of the student section of the ISIE. At the student section, we work a lot to support the students and organize different uh, events for them. For example, we have uh, every, every six months, we have a networking event. Uh, at the beginning of this conference, we also had a uh, uh, symposium for uh, young professionals on industrial ecology. 
which drew over 150 people from the student section. We try to collaborate with the other sections. All of our members are also part of other section of the ISA, but we would like this co collaboration to be tightened in the future. So I'm Simran Singh, I'm a professor at the University of Waterloo in Canada, and I'm chair of the Island Industrial Ecology section of IC. The Island Industrial Ecology section um, essentially analyzes resource use and uh, resource throughputs in island systems, in small island nations, but also sub-national island jurisdictions. And the emphasis is to understand resource use patterns over time and space uh, in order to understand the risks that are embedded in certain resource use patterns uh, and the impacts they would have uh, from climate uh, change. We are looking at island which is a complex system and in order to analyze the resource use um, in, in space and time we need different types of methodologies. For example, we are interested in the social metabolic approaches and looking at the material and energy flow analysis. Uh, we also analyze the stocks, so infrastructure, and so we do material stock analysis. Um, we're also doing a lot of geospatial work on islands to see where the materials, energy, and you know, different resources are stocked and over time. So there's a lot of collaboration with the researchers uh, across all the sections. My name is Stefan Pauljuk, and I am the chair of the socio-economic metabolism section of the ISAE. In our section, we work on the material flow analysis and on the sustainable development of material production and consumption. Our main activities are that we want to promote high standards of our research. That means we want to have guidelines for data treatment, data documentation and also for the methodology that we develop for the community. This links to many other sections of the ISIE, for example, circular economy, the input-output sections, and of course, the life cycle sustainability assessment, industrial services, and the um, urban system section.